What felt like a pointless piece of advice until you actually tried it? Butt stuff. I'm leaving it at that. All right, what do we got? Doing another Reddit review, baby. I think because of the mass success of our last handful of videos, we're gonna keep the series going. A fourth one, where's the lettuce guy? Number four. That's right, it's number four. We're going to 20. Doing this entire list, it turns out. So if you wanna check out the list and uh, vote for the which one I do next, I'll go ahead and I'll link that in the description. Why don't you let me know what you wanna see? And this week, what are we doing? Oh, I can only, if, I don't know which one we're doing. Maybe we should ask Reddit. That's right, we're doing Ask Reddit. Aside from Q-tips, what are some products that, that are primarily used against manufacturers' instructions? Baseball bats, pepper spray, cucumbers. If you're Mr. Beast, anything that can be put in mass quantities. For me personally, hand lotion. You know, when I was in uh, high school, we went on a field trip and my buddy put a condom inside a sock and, and fucked it. Socks. Okay, it's, we're good on that, right? We can move on to the next question. Do we do we answer enough of those? Can we, can we, we can move on. We can move on. Can we move on? We can. Okay, we can't. We can move on, guys. We can move on to the next one. What's your dirty little secret? I don't know. Where, where, where do I begin? And what am I actually going to tell you guys? All right. Well, this one time I... And it... Let's just say it was in there. What tastes so good you can't believe it's healthy? Pussy. <laughs> <coughs> Ah! <laughs> I should eat some right now. It's uh, get some behind on my diet. Oh, it's the truth. I'm single. Uh, you gotta make yourself laugh, you know? What's the scariest thing going on in our world right now that not enough people know or talk about? There's so much ASMR out there and we're all listening to it. It's the only... <laughs> and none of us are talking about it. We're all listening to... Hi, everyone. My name is Johnny Cospo and today I'm going to be doing some tapping and telling you about non-binary transgender sexual relationships. Let's go back up to the dirty little secret. I listen to ASMR while I'm editing. <laughs> it's true. Should I start my own ASMR channel? Oh, you know what? It'd be funny. It'd be funny to do an ASMR uh, spoof video sometime. But not now. I got to finish this one. Adults of Reddit, at what point did you realize, damn, I'm old? 31. But I'm, I don't think, I, don't, I honestly don't think that that's old. Redditors who got married before 18. Why did the marriage happen and how is it today? Uh, I'm not married. I didn't get married at 18, but I'm going to go ahead and answer this one anyways. Pregnancy, terrible. Is everyone replying to my, uh... Um, hey. That makes me feel good. Go get them, tiger. Back to, back to Reddit. This is gonna be, a, this is gonna be a nightmare to edit. I've been dicking around, just like, I, I have such ADD, so these videos are tough. Like, I got, I get notifications, and like, boom, I'm going, hey, let's go see what people are talking about on the comment I left. Let's go waste my fucking time. <laughs> Not being productive. Does this look really gay? Let's go, boy. Oh. Men and women of Reddit, what's the advantage of your gender that you're willing to admit? Oh, you're pregnant? I gotta go. What's a common belief myth that you know isn't true? Myth? What's a common belief myth? I don't know. There's superstitions that, like, I'm not superstitious. I'm not even regular superstitious. I'm substitious. You know, it's all like that whole, like, it's all random kind of a thing. But one of the things that I do again, I guess it's not a myth, it's more of a superstition, but you know, knock on wood. Oh, you know, hey, hopefully, you know, we made it today and it, there was no, you know, meteors crashing down in the apartment. Knock on wood. You knock on wood to, to, for like a good luck or to make sure that you don't jinx yourself. I stopped doing that forever and I recently started doing it again. And I got to be honest, guys, it just feels so, so damn good. It just feels so damn right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It just feels like I just feel so right. It just feels so right. Right. What's something that people do that really makes you angry? Get outraged about jokes. That's the biggest one, man. Get outraged about fucking jokes. Trying to control other people's art. Cancel culture. Let's make jokes. Like, what? <laughs> what made you like your crush in the first place? It just feels all right. It just feels all right. What would you never fuck with? Dr. Manhattan. Especially when he gets huge. Like, his Johnson's got to be like... What would you never fuck with? Let's read some comments. Trains. <laughs> what do you think of extremely quiet people? What are they hiding? Honestly, it's like they're lonely. They're pissed. They have low self-confidence. Maybe they're in a mood. I get really quiet sometimes. So surprisingly, it'd be like, I have nothing to say and I don't want to say anything. It's rare though. 
Oh, this is so awesome. People who comment have an upvote or this instead of upvoting. Why? They, they It's difficult to be creative or witty. And I feel like saying this is like a substitute for being witty. It's so bad, though. Adult of Reddit, what was something that you were unprepared for when you first moved out of your parents' house? Living in my car, then going to jail, then living back in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I lived in my car more than once. So once I was living in my car, and it was the ter it was the pits, man. It was no good. It was no good. And then I finally upgraded to living on the roof of an apartment in a tent. And my God, I can't even tell you. I can't even tell you what an upgrade that fucking was. It was so beautiful. It was just a beautiful, beautiful time and place. That was three years ago. <laughs> Oh, this one's so tough. You just died. God escorted you to the door, telling you this is your own personal heaven. What's behind the door? <sighs> yes! Oh. oh, oh, I got a boner. Oh, no. If you have a channel, let me know. It'd be cool. That'd be a fun video, too, to like review, you know, roast other people's channels. Hey, roast my channel. If you have a channel, roast me. I'll, I'll roast you back. I need, we need drama. Who can I start drama with? I keep getting sidetracked. All right, let's finish this and then someone remind me that I gotta cause to start drama. <laughs> I wanna start drama with somebody that, uh... oh. Red Ox Studios. Hold my beer while I wait for new pizza barn. What? You just want the videos on my channel that don't have me in it at all? This is war. Red Ox Studios, we now have beef, YouTube drama. Come on, let's go down to the pizza barn. What do you collect? Magic the Gathering cards I started collecting. Toys, I collect toys. The broken pieces of my heart. Just kidding, I, I collect toys. What's the key to not being fucking useless? I don't know, my man. I'm trying to figure it out too, buddy. God damn, what a great question. And on that, we're gonna we're gonna end it. Thanks as always for all of you who made it this far. Drop a like if you haven't. Let the algorithm know that you're into it. Uh, keep commenting like crazy. I'm gonna every video I'm gonna read one of you guys. Uh, comments and eventually here um, I want to do a read your comment uh, video where I just do nothing but read your fucking comment I don't know roast me fuck it bring it bring it pussies you bunch of a bunch of pussies bunch of fucking bitch ass pussies <laughs> Let's keep this community growing. Let's let's make sure that we can I can quit waiting tables sooner than later. That'd be great, guys. Could you get on it? Get your loser friends on the on the channel commenting their lo their loser comments. I don't know why I'm calling your friends losers. I don't know them, but I'd like to. So get them on the channel. And if you like this, watch the playlist. Uh, there's three others. If you're new if you're new around here, watch the playlist. I got three others, and uh, a whole bunch of other interesting garbage. Outro. I know, um... <sighs>What are we? Are we good? Ooh. In the 40s, superheroes were popular. In the 50s and 60s, it was cowboys. In the 70s and 80s, spacemen. And now, superheroes are popular again. What will the 2030s bring? I like this. We did speculate. Welcome to Johnny's Speculation Corner. It's where we speculate on things from the future. Am I a time traveler? No. Could I be? Maybe. Now let's get into this week's speculations. What will happen in the year 2030? Well, let me be clear. Movies, video games, VR, and porn are all going to mesh together and become this, and music, obviously, and mesh together and become one type of media. And that's what everyone's gonna do all the time. And just like now, how there's like virtual economies within games, there's gonna be virtual economies within this kind of media. It's gonna be social media, it's gonna be VR, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be all that. That's what everybody's gonna do. And within that, just like when you go on Spotify and you have literally, you can find 
any kind of genre of music out there no matter how crazy and specific it exists somewhere and it has a community that's what it's going to be in this fucking massive social media vr traditional media thing you're gonna be able to find your virtual community of all types of anything and that's when i'll finally finally be able to be a tree tree that's that's my punchline